the winner of the 2022 Rising Star Award is Arian Knighton. How does it feel, man? I'm honored, man. I'm honored and blessed to, um, hey. I'm lost for words right now. Well, last year around the same time, well, I don't know if it was the same time again from last year, but I mean, I received this award last year and just know that I got it again. It just goes to say that um, I'm really getting the recognition that I always wanted in life. And well, Describe 22 is just a lot of, I mean, well, every year is gonna be hard work, but I really don't feel like this was my breakout year. I mean, I still think there's more to come in the near future. And I think I'm just really scratching the surface just a little. Um, I'm not really saying I'm the, I'm the most perfect and most best, but it's really, it's more work to come. And I mean, I'm ready for the journey. Third semi-final, men's 200 meter. Now to the fourth fastest man in history. And guess what? He's still only 18. Arian Knight is floating down the track. Watch the clock at the end. 19.77 and another world junior record. He now has eight of the top 11 world junior times in history. How I envision my journey in this sport is just not rushing, not rushing the process and, and stick, stick it to my training really and not rushing to get times or not rushing to try to be the best because I mean I feel like in my journey is always it's going to be a time and a place for everything and then when that time and place comes then I feel like that's when I have arrived. And Arian Knighton becomes the youngest medalist in this event's history. I'm really blessed to do this at a, at a, I mean, a young age, and I mean, I'm making a name for myself already, so um, only up from here. That's all, I, I mean, I really feel like that's all I can say. Aside from athletics, um, I'm really more of like an outdoor guy. I mean, I like to, I'm not saying I like to, I mean, nature is pretty. I'm not saying I like to go on hikes and stuff, but I mean, just to go out there and see the world um, and see different things. Like, I like, I like traveling the world. Um, I mean, growing up as a kid, I mean, I really, I really never thought that I'd be in places like Budapest, Monaco, um, Belgium, and other places. I mean, there's so many places I can name, but I mean, I'm just honored to do this. And I mean, hey, lost for words, still lost.